Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Pillars of Eternity. My name's Heliax and last time we have finally entered Durgan's Battery and we've been exploring the Great Hall where we just got a really cool shield for our boy Edir here. Um, as well as a helmet for Meneha and also a belt which... Did I give that belt to anybody yet? Where was that belt at? Right here. It gives knockdowns. Um... I'm going to give that to you, too. Yeah. So now you have the knockdown ability, too, right? Yeah. Which will be useful. Good. All right. I shall be discreet. Let's move on. All right, then. Good. Disarm all those traps. Okay. Let's save it. Um, yeah. Okay, go ahead. Do that. Do that. You start doing this. I don't know why they were attacking her, but... Whatever. Knock down this person. Yes. Go ahead and stun this person. All of you guys attack this person. Not you. Yeah. Uh, you're gonna just use a minor heal. Okay. You guys start attacking him. How may I help? You too. Eh? Okay. All of you come in. No, you get out of uh, uh, get. Zawa is ready. Stun him. Okay, you two, come on. All right, I don't like our positioning right now. Disengage and attack. Zawa is ready. Okay, everybody attack him. There we go. Traitors! Cowards! Yeah. Better not be talking to me. I ain't no traitor. Maybe a coward, but I ain't no traitor. Alright then. Let's see what we got. What do we got in here? This doesn't look good, does it? Melee damage bonus. Plus ten percent melee damage. Jesus, we're getting all all sorts of stuff. So that gives you deflection. It gives you might. Um, maybe we'll just hold that off, hold on to that for one of our other companions. Yeah, I think we will do that. Hey. Uh, do you want to go up or down first? It doesn't matter. Let's go down first. All right then. Let's see what this is. Money. Everybody loves money. Before the commandants come to blow, did you see the look in Maroon's eye? Alexandro and better watch his back. Uh, internal politics. Get in there, everybody. Looks like it's just the two of them, so this is going to be pretty simple. Okay, one more. Easy. Nice and quiet. Nice and quiet. Sorry, I just got paranoid I wasn't recording, but I am recording. Hey. Uh loot. There we go. That goes to where we've already explored. Alright then. So let's all get up over here. Let's look at the map. So we do have a door over here that goes that way. So that might be the way to go. Let's check out over here first. There's a body over here, wasn't there? Oh. Zoltan's the only one with sense. Anybody, anyone who says otherwise is a fool. That sheet sold our steel and kept the coin himself. Smart. Maroon. Oh. 
She won't rest until our corpses decorate the halls. An exceptional saber. A bronze statue of Abaddon stands over incense ash and rusted metal tokens. Okay. Oh, look at you. Ooh. A ruby. So ruby better than emerald. Hey. Both of those better than diamond. Okay. Uh, there's a I'll way up over here find. too, right? So what do we got here? We've got to survive by any means necessary. We'll have blood in these halls before long. Damn, they all knew it was coming too. The statue of Abaddon is modeled and tarnished, but, the, but each bolt and rivet appears to be crafted with meticulous detail. Okay. As you approach the doorway, a wave of essence ripples through the air. The ancient stones grind and groan around you, and a woman's voice echoes from the hall. Stop right there. You must be some merchant come to speak with Zoltan. There's a pause in which the woman's wrathful essence gathers like a storm cloud on the other side of the door. The entire room creaks from the pressure of her presence. Who's Zoltan? Another door? Our illustrious coin master may let you plunder our armory, but I've got other ideas for dealing with your lot. Her voice is sharp and loud, like the slamming of a door. As her words echo in the chamber, the ghosts startle and flinch, glancing about in agitation. Turn and go before I show you how an arms warden deals with trespassers. What's going on here? Pargrun and quarrels are no business of yours, outsider. Her tone is as cold as the icy halls around you. Who are you? I'm Maroon, proud Pargrun and arms warden of Durgan's Battery. And you're answering my questions now. A group called the Leaden Key is seeking something here. The ghosts stir, looking around and shivering. Their eyes widen and glow as they light on you, as if they're noticing you for the first time. Just as quickly, they gaze away and seem to forget you once more, but now they seem alert, wary. Whoever you're searching for, I haven't seen them, and none get past me. Hmm. Leave our halls. Go back to whatever land you hail from. This leaden key group is buying weapons from Zoltan. He snuck them in, thinking you wouldn't find out. Your foundations were blessed by Abaddon himself. What harm could I possibly do? You sound like Exandru. At least you're no friend of Zoltan's, then. A gust of air sighs cr across your, your feet. You may pass, but don't make me regret this. I'll be watching you. Good, good. I didn't want to fight those ghosts in this position, so that's good. So that's the way forward, so we don't want to go that way. Because there's a door back here we need to go through. Let's just go check it out. Good thing I'm freshly greased. Hello. Battery shield wall. Okay. Let him have Leave it. it to me. Where are you at? Get over here. Okay. Introduction. Bless. Um. Do that. Right there. You keep doing your thing. You guys keep doing your things. Good. Another one right there. Attack him. Yeah. Um. Holy radiance. Right here. Everybody on him. Kill the shadows. Kill the shade. Uh, stun him. Kill the priest. Stun him. Never mind. Good. Loot and loot. All right. Then. Group up. Good thing I sold most of my jewelry. Good thing you did. 
All right. Bill of Sale. You unroll the scroll and see an inventory of weapons and armor, swords, shields, breastplates, and helms. All are listed as sold to a Lucan of Dunrud. The bill is signed by Commandant Zoltan, coin master of Durgan's Battery. And we've got Cloak of Minor Missile. Very nice. Uh, plus five damage reduction on burn and shock. Cool. Might give that to... Actually, what, what are you wearing? You're giving will plus nine. That's actually probably pretty good, right? Yeah, we'll, we'll leave that on. Hey. Oh, look at here. He's a traitor to the battery. I feel like we saw something else. How do we get through here? Hmm. Yeah, you discovered two things. What's the other thing? Where? Most of these crates and barrels are empty, and several are overturned. It looks as if they were cleared out in a hurry. This? Oh, wait, what? <laughs> Looks like somebody went through there. Uh, I'm not seeing what else she found. That's annoying. Maybe that's just going to be another way up. I don't know. All right, well, let's go to that door. She'll bring these walls down around us. She very well might. All right, down we go. Continue past the mines. The mines. Okay. Keep an eye out. This is probably where things get difficult, huh? They call this a mine. We can't hold them off! Fall back! The question is, like, even with the polit political turmoil, what did they summon? That's attacking all of them. Oh, they're still defending their place, huh? Yeah. Let's put down a seal. Right there. And then you're going to bring him in. Move back. Oh, hi. Okay. You guys attack them. Zawa is ready. How may I help? You're going to start attacking them. Oh along with God. you. Where where are you going? Just come over here. What are you okay? How may I help? Uh, I'm right here. Can you guys not attack them? You can, okay. That's fine then. You take care of them while yes. you help here. Blessing. Magic missile. Hmm. Holy radiance. Okay. You guys keep doing your thing here. Hi. You go in and attack him. Start hitting him. Did you just run all the way around? God damn it, woman. <laughs> yes. I'm here. Yeah. I like this music. Uh, Zawa's Zawa's down. Let him have it. Hmm. Um use this. Alright. Um can you hit them with that? 
Why can't you hit him from here? It looks like you're in range. You certainly are. There you go. Alright, both okay. of you go on him. Okay, you're getting hurt. Are you gonna need a second win? Good. Good done. Good for you. Who's that? Hey, get out of there. Get out of there. Okay. Um Who's that? Both of you start attacking this guy. Good. Now all three of you go back on this. Yes. Go ahead and use one of these. Nope, that's a use that. Whew. Alright, so Klesi has gone down twice now. It leveled up again. And it and the story does continue, so I'll have to read all of that. So it is now a level three one. So what did we get? Five percent chance to cast petrify on hit, and it's now exceptional. So plates eight accuracy and plus thirty damage. This thing's becoming really, really, really good. Let's just read the whole thing. A twisted piece of wood grips a glowing otter trunk with root-like tendrils. Something about the staff resonates in your soul. When you hold it, you hear the distant whisper of wind through the trees. An Adirian explorer in Ear Glanfath came across a row of Aja pillars near what is now Solace Vale. Having never seen such a display of living Adra, he thought immediately of the Ein uh, Sikthrua that houses the soul of Adirian nobility, and decided that these pillars must surely hold something magnificent. He chiseled a chunk of Adra from the growth and brought it back to the Dunrid, to Dunrid for further study. The Adra trunk was placed in a staff and given to Lady uh, Rugfold. Rugfold. One of the Furconig's favorite courtiers, Lady Rugfold, was a talented dabbler in the magical arts and infamous at, the, at court for her clever but ostent, ostent, ostentatious spellwork. However, the Greenstone staff was her undoing. She accidentally summoned a blight. The creature was quickly dispatched, but not before it had ruined the Imperial Consort's finest robe. Though many historians believe it was the uh, Furconig's ultimate untimely chuckle that doomed Lady Rugfold, the damage was done, and, prop and propri propriety demanded her removal from court. Lord and Lady Rugfold were sent to a distant but comfortable estate in the young colonial capital of New Dunred. Despite her husband's protests, Lady Rugfold refused to surrender the Greenstone Staff. Interesting. Kill 25 enemies. Or 5 animates. Animats. That's... Sh that feels like that won't take very long, will it? I don't think it will. Alright. Loot. And... course. Loot. Hey. And we need to find somewhere to rest, because she is struggling. Klazia is not doing too well. Potion of Major Recovery. Very nice. Seems like this might be a good place to rest well, in here. If I find something good, you can have half. Well, thank you. I'm glad you're going to give me half of it, at least. Can I go down there? Looks like that can. Interesting. Interesting. Got it done. Got it done. Ogre Mite. And some stuff. Uh, scattered skeletons lie prostrate before the shrine. Swords and helms have been laid at the feet of the statue. Heat ripples and rises from great covered hallways below you. Okay. We're going to rest right here. We're fighting spirits in here, aren't we? Spirits and vessels. I think it's more vessels that we're fighting. 
Yeah. Okay. Rest. Oh, I hope we find the <laughs> the damn thing we're looking for for her sword so she can go back to ranged combat. She was much more effective, I feel like. Uh, okay, so we finished the training grounds. Now, the only other thing that gives security that we don't have is the craft hall. So we're actually going to get the dungeon. Be done in two days. That doesn't give us any stats, but I like the idea of capturing people. Okay. Step lightly. Let's go this way first, because I feel like that's where we're hearing all the screaming. Which is never good. Don't look back! Keep running! Oh, I looked back. Oh, God. Alright. Anything over here? New? No? Okay. This is one sketchy looking mine, I'm not gonna lie. Out of my way! Uh, something burns beneath you, but you can't see what. Probably lava. Does lava burn? This is rocks that are burning. Although I guess burning implies something different. Uh, frost oozes. And an ice beetle. Okay. Oh, oh attack! Uh, come on up. Yes. Uh huh. Attack that one. Go ahead and fireball. Right there. Oh no, we've all been knocked down. Okay, can you do something, Zawa? Just do something, man. Was that me? Did I do that? I think okay. I I think I did that. <laughs> okay, attack that guy then. I'm right here. Good. Everybody, attack this guy. Get another one down. Get that ice beetle. And then the last ice beetle. Perfect. Hey. That went very well. More camping supplies. Perfect. Just what we were needing. And that's it around here, right? Okay. This is a proper dungeon. Got mines and ruins and everything. All right, it looks like we need to go up here and there'll be another path. Looks like it goes back into the ruins. Hello. They're coming over the barricade. It looks like they It's a fine touch. Really opens up the hall. Hmm, indeed. So they just busted through the barricade here. Losing ground! Who was seeing us? Weird. They're coming to the mines. Huh. If you say so. Can't do it, huh? Okay. Hey. At least not yet. Are we going to level up in here? Probably not. Not until the end, maybe. Yeah, something's seeing us right there. I don't know what it is, huh? Weird. Okay, they went running off in that direction. Oh, hi. How you guys doing? That's a lot of people. How may I help? Bouncing missile. Not this. 
And another one. Or do this one next. Go ahead and do this. And then get out of there. Yes. Go ahead. Fight. Do that. Hey. De or Eddie or get in there. Eh? Um you can get in there. Alright, everybody attack them. These guys are pretty weak, which is nice. There we go. Oh, hey, Zua has, or Zaha has something to say. Zawa. Zawa is his name. Zawa. A hopeless battle was waged in Durgan's battery. They seemed to know that their deaths had come, yet many fought on. For all the good it did them, all men fight who fear death. They had built a great legacy. They had no reason to fear death. Even now, they continue to fight on. Yeah, even now they continue to fight on. Their bravery was not enough in the end. They might have made great Nalpazka warriors. If only they had been born to Khan. If only. If only. But they were not. They were born... Whatever their people were called. Uh, here's an Abaddon statue. And then a lot of money. Sure. Hey. More money. I like it. All right, I got some bodies here. Many of these bones have been ground into grit. Nasty. Yeah. Okay. Time to see and not be seen. See and not be seen. The breastplates and cur or what is that? Quizzes are all smashed or bent beyond further use. Okay. So we have this that goes further in. These stone slabs have shattered like pottery. Let's go take a look since we're down here. What do you have here? A heavy bronze suit appears to have been ripped apart. It's pieces scattered across the floor. You both gonna say that? Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Rune engraved copper key. Okay. Looks like we're gonna have some sort of puzzle here, maybe. To seek the white, to seek the white forge in the north, and bore our parents east. Reached Old Valia in the west. A cold wind from the south. So north. West, south, east. As you approach the door, you notice a round depression within the surrounding frame. The molding around the depression is elaborately carved, with a row of foreign symbols lining the topmost edge of the circle. Examine the socket. The depression is about three finger widths deep, with a small stone, frag with small stone fragments jutting out from within the wall. Some pieces seem to rotate independently along along slots, but they have no obvious effect in and of themselves. Okay. The door leading down appears to be sealed, but there's some kind of stone socket near next to it. Okay, so we got to find something that goes in there probably. Good thing I'm freshly greased. <laughs> Let's go check down this hallway then. A locked door. This is where that key opens. Blasphemy. Blasphemy. Save it. Okay, there's some switches. 
three switches. And whatever this is. Night Shroud. Give me a second. Um... <laughs> Soulbound mace, one-handed. It's a morning star. Crush damage, accuracy, plus 30% damage, 10% chance to cast blind on hit or critical hit. Three damage reduction bypass. Shadows ooze and pool around you, filling your mind with memories of furtive ex expeditions and clandestine meetings in the traffic of secrets. You hear the whispers of the men and women who snuck, struck, and survived by the power of this weapon. These are Abidun's treasures. Hey. Ain't that special? Yeah, they're my treasures now. Failed. It's not allowed. Not allowed. The sword wielder uh, by the suit of the sword wielded by the suit of armor is covered in fine detail work, far more intricate than that of arm of the armor itself. Okay. Well, we want to give that weapon to either you or him. So right now you've got a pretty good weapon. Forgotten Tears of the Beloved. This is a pretty good weapon already. 11 to 15 crush damage versus 18 to 26 crush damage. And this is a bound weapon. The name makes me wonder if it's safe to use. Um, hold on. Let's just compare. Um, I haven't used any of these, so that's not very important to me. 10% chance to daze. Oh, this is blind. Converts 30% of grades to hits. Um, we're gonna, I mean, we're gonna use this weapon. I guess you could have this. Actually, doesn't look like you might be trained in it, so never mind. Well, are you trained in Morning Stars? I didn't actually check. <laughs> you are. You might not be trained in Flails. Uh. Yeah. Okay. Bind it. This weapon can only be bound to characters oh, of a rogue priest type. Well, then, and never mind. A rogue type, you say? That's interesting. We do have a rogue now. We also have a priest. But I'm already... <laughs> I already have one weapon that's bound to me. Um, then we're not going to use it on you. You can have this. And this can't be bound to you anyway, right? Did we give... Okay, can you use a mace? I don't think you can, can you? You cannot. Okay, I have nobody who's going to use that right now. Maybe Durance will use it. A circular depression carved into the stone sits below the relief of a dwarven warrior. The armor-clad figure is charging ahead against an unseen enemy. Inspect the stone carving. Three holes puncture the bottom of the circular depression. Their edges seem worn, as if something had scraped against them. Above the depression, a dwarf appears to be ready to charge, holding a shield low and a sword high. Okay, okay. Ow! Good thing I'm freshly greased. Inspect. Two holes pun puncture the bottom of the circular depression. Their edges seem worn, as if something had scraped against them. But the depression, a dwarf, appear a dwarf appears ready to defend against the charge, holding a shield. Okay, so this has two, the other one has three, so it probably goes one, two, three. I don't know. That seems hey. a bit simple, but nice and quiet. Oh, look at here. Okay. How do we? How do we? How do we do this? Hey. Okay. Oh, 
Oh, this is bad. <laughs> uh, run. <laughs> oh, you guys run back there. Hey. Ed here. Okay. Uh, get back. Howie. Big heal. Hi. Yeah. Holy radiance. Or do that. Yes. Launch that. Hey. Uh, knock one of them down. Lead the and way. heal. Blessing. How may I? Okay. After him. Holy Radiance. Hi. Bounding Missile. Okay. How may I help? This guy's a jerk. Yeah. Leave me alone. Yes. Okay, you guys go after him. All of you after him. Whew. That was close. Okay, knock him down. Oh, this is his Xandru. Whew. Hey. Well, that wasn't fun, was it? Because they really didn't want that mace getting taken, huh? A hole bores into the stone. Its edges are blackened and gritty with soot. Okay. Let's just have everybody go back here. Eddie, you're, you're gonna just trigger these traps. Get them out of the way. Ah! I need to stop and oil my joints. Well, that wasn't that bad of a trap, actually. Uh, da, 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 da. inspect. One hole punctures the bottom of the circular depression. Its edges seem worn as if something had scraped against us. Okay. I just don't understand what we're doing then. Are we missing something? Do we need like an item? Hey. Maybe. This armor has been pos posing bracing behind a broad shield, thick and sturdy with the city gate, despite the years of weathering. Where the helmet on the other hand... Weathering? Where the helmets on the other hand, uh, on the other armors in the room are plain and lustrous, lusterless. This one is brighter and more reflective. Okay. Hey. You do not know what we're doing here, so I'm guessing we're gonna find out later. Uh, should we rest? I. I'll see what's ahead. I think we're okay to continue on. Nobody's. I guess she's kind of low on health, but she's in the back line. She should be fine. Plus, she hasn't gone down. I guess she has gone down. She's only gone down once, though. So we're gonna keep keep pushing forward. Let me clear out one more area before we rest. Did we look at that? Yeah, we did. Okay. Okay, so we saw people running into here, right? This is all we have. This is the only place we have left to go. So I guess this is where we're going. Hold them off. Gears. They're coming. Who's coming? Uh, just tell me already. Exceptional mace. Sigil of the helm. That's probably going to be important. For the battery! 
for the battery. Indeed. Okay. We're just in a cave system now. That's not good. Um. Is that copper? Hello? Listen. You hear that? I do not. The iron and copper deposits are spattered with blood. Blood. Erasmus' letter. Something was hastily scrawled across this page. It reads, Fleuru, we're trapped here, but I take heart in knowing you're safe below. When this ends, take whatever you can carry and leave for Fort Bonepicker at once. Take our nephew if you can. It's not safe here. Keep this with you. Your love, Erasmus. The other side looks like a poem. But it's obscured with dirt. Damn. Hey. It's tough. It's tough. Okay. Let's go down this way. Oh man, there's a lot of paths. Guess we'll go this way. Clear out this side first. And then we'll work our way in. Safe here. No. Quiet. They weren't safe. Bitter spirit. Oh. I'll have you attack this guy now. There we go. Let's stop. I got a pebble in my foot. All right, then. Pebble in the foot. That's not good. Ooh, a belt. Girdle of Eoton Constitution. Plus three Constitution. Nice. Hey. What's our belt? What's our belt situation? Gives you some protection. Who doesn't have a belt? You guys. Um, I can give it to you. Just because. I don't really have a reason, but you get it. Congratulations. Hey. Okay. Let's go down this way. I'm gonna find something eventually. Hey guys. Hurry! We can hide here. I can't. You really can't. They're going to come for us here and, and and Yep, they are. And they're gonna kill you. The skeleton's ribcage has been smashed into fragments. I don't really like the position of these ghosts. I'm really terrified they're all gonna turn hostile. Because these guys aren't disappearing like they used to be disappearing. This dwarf this dwarf's remains lie on the floor, covered in dirt and swathed in cobwebs. Essence drifts nearby, hanging in the stale air like dust motes. Uh, reach out to the essence. It takes a little additional effort, but you manage to gather the floating essence to you. You work your way into it and suddenly find yourself immersed in the soul's memory. The shock hits you with an almost physical force. Your heart hammers within your chest. Other Pergrunin rush past you, retreating or attacking. It's, it's gotten hard to tell. You're running along a dark tunnel, pushing your overtaxed body as fast as it will go. Your heart pounds harder with each step. Concussive thumps echo above you. Each one seems to resound in your heavy, in your heaving chest. You pass the mines and reach the main hall. It's packed full of shouting, shoving, panicking dwarves. Even if you could reach the door at the other end without getting trampled or beaten to death first, something in the fervor of the crowd tells you it's already locked. The tunnel behind you rings with screams. You had another dial for the door to forge below to the forge below, but it's locked in the workshop on the other side of the barricade. The, the sound of battle grows closer. You race to the mines, ignoring the building pressure in your chest. You scurry deeper into the mines, losing track of your path. The tunnels seem to close around you. You stumble and fall. You try to pull yourself up, but your arm is dull with pain. 
Even though you've stopped, you can't quite catch your breath. For the first time, you notice a squeezing agony in your chest. Darkness gathers around you. You pull back from the memory, gulping for air. Search the body. A key glints in the dirt next to the corpse's firm femur. As you examine it, the nearby spirits grow restless, growing, growling, and fidgeting. I knew it. Take the key. You push the bones aside and grab the key. As you do, you hear screams of horror and fury. The dead of Durgan's battery converge on you, their unnatural teeth and claws bared. Oh, hi, guys. Okay, this is a very bad situation we find ourselves in. Very, very bad. Uh huh. How may I help? Luckily, there's only three of them here. Uh, we need to move. Let him out. Zawa is ready. Uh, there's more coming. That's not good. Who's that? Is that Edir? Perfect. There's one person we want that to happen to. It's Edir. Um. Guys, attack this guy first. Edir's gonna be fine. There you go. Who's over there? You? You're you, okay. Um. Yeah. Do that. Okay. Heal here. Um. Bless. Stun it. Okay, that one's dead. Good. Everybody attack this guy now. Good. Let's stop. I got a pedal in my foot. I bet you do. Okay. That actually didn't go so badly. We're looking a little injured now, but I think we'll be okay. What did we get? What did we pick up? Um, can't tell. I think it was another, was it a key or was it a sigil? Because he said it was a key, didn't he? Scrying chamber key? Uh, maybe that was it? I don't know. Now we picked up this. A single protrusion pokes out from its expertly polished surface. Okay. Good to know. All right. I'll see what I can find. Back into stealth mode. Hello. Just one of them should never be a problem. Luckily. I shall be discreet. Okay. Although now they're gonna all the spirits that didn't despawn when we found them are gonna be popping up now, aren't they? Stop them! So there's you guys up here, right? Yeah. Oh my god. That is a lot more than they were supposed to be up here. Holy god, what is this? Tentacles, tentacles. Zawa is ready. Zawa, I hope you're ready. <laughs> um. Okay. We're doing all right. We're doing all right. Go ahead. Second wind. Everybody attack that, except for you. I want you to bless us all here. Okay. That one's dead, right? Okay, we lost her. Can you revive her? You can. 
Okay. Uh -huh. Go ahead, second wind. Yeah. Heal. Okay. More tentacles right there. She's about to go down again. She's down. Okay. I'm right here. Um. Do this. Attack this one. How you doing up there, Adir? You're doing fine. Good. It's very nice that I rarely have to worry about Adir dying. Come on, guys. There we go. Everybody up here to the... Whew. That was... Scary. <laughs> <laughs> Need to stop and oil my joints. It turned out not to be as difficult as I thought it was going to be, but it was scary at first. Okay. I think it's time to rest. Uh, spirits. Definitely spirits. Hey. Okay, let's see where else we gotta go. We haven't gone down here yet, have we? I don't think so. Step lightly. So let's go down here. Ooh, a trap. Something I never use. That's all that was down here. Uh, iron copper deposit spattered with blood. So if that little thing we're looking to break the curse for my sword is around here, it's probably going to be in the mines, right? It's like a copper, Audra, iron thing or something. Okay, we got a, a mine cart here. Mine cart tunnels. Oh, boy. <laughs> Don't know if we want to go there yet. My half. I mean, I guess we're going to have to. But who were you guys running from? I don't know. Hi. Right here. Back away. There you go. Holy radiance. Do that. Um. No. What do I want to do? Let's go ahead and hit him with that. Um. Hit him with this. Good damage there. Everybody on the ice beetle here. Good. Good. Did a little bit of damage there, but it's okay. Ice Beetle is carrying milk. Of course. Time to see and not be seen. Okay. What's down here? Hmm. A skeleton. Okay. So far, I mean, it's been going pretty well. I've had a couple of tough encounters. Zawa. Come on. Get it. There we go. Okay. Perfect. 
Hey. I feel like I say perfect after every fight. <laughs> Just perfect. Watch it perfect. I am a perfectionist. Alright. Stalking boots plus 10% damage to flanked targets. What are you using? You don't have boots. Well, I have just what you need then. There you go. Hey. All right, I guess we're going into that minecart unless we have the key to this place. So that's to the workshop. I don't. Do we have a workshop key? Uh. Cell key. Workshop key. Hey. Well, let's go down there. See if it. See if it's a thing. Could be. I'm gonna hey. take us off stealth. I don't know if all these spirits are gonna be fighting us now. Oh, I missed something. Exceptional Morning Star. All right then. Doesn't look like the spirits out here are attacking. Which is good. Workshop. Unlock with workshop key. Unlock. Okay. What do we have in here? Good thing I'm freshly greased. Hmm. Looks dangerous. Let's kill them. Francis! Okay. Yeah. Yes. Oh, it's bad. <laughs> Holy radiance. Do that. Come up behind over here. Gotta get rid of the wolves. Move over here. Attack that. Yes. Move over here. Okay. Everybody move over here. Okay, or not. You guys stay over there then. Move up here. Oh, this is a, a shit show. Right here. <laughs> yes. Okay, you Either guys way. need to be Zombies here. Ready. You need to be here. <laughs> there. Okay. Now attack. Yeah. Buff. Hi. Attack. Right attack. <laughs> yes. Need you to get over here, Edir. I said get over. I don't care if he engages you again. Just do it. Okay. Yeah. You heal these... You... This group. Right here. All of you attack this one. All of you attack... Yeah. <laughs> there. Okay. How may I help? Aye, aye. Right here. Hmm. Hey. Okay, keep doing this. Um Hmm. Heal us. Just in case. And then heal them. Okay. Use that on them. Good. Everybody turn to this guy now. You, use second wind. Good. Everybody turn to this guy. And then one more. Ah, 
All right. That was a little messy. But it worked. Hey. And that's what matters. That was not perfect. Hey. What do we have in here, though? Nice and quiet. Stone dial. This thick circle of dark stone is intricately engraved with the various strange symbols. A small stone protrusion rises from the center to the outer edge, pointing outward. Okay. Sure, that means something. I don't know what, though. This is a map of the mines, but various tunnels and choke points have been marked off with, the arrow, with arrows and X's. It looks like a hasty battle plan. A freezing draft filters through the collapsed wall. It looks as if something broke outside, broke through from the outside. Right, that's how these guys got in here. Tempered helm. Is this the thing I just I bought for like three thousand coins? Probably. Okay. Another camping supply though, so that's nice. Ain't that special? These scrolls catalog a quant catalog quantities of ore and min minerals taken from the mines. And sigil of the sword, carving on the carving on one side of the stone disc depicts a sword. On its back, three protrusion, protrusions poke out from its expertly polished surface. Awesome. Hey. Okay. I think that is where we're going to call it. Uh, in the next episode, we'll try to figure. I guess we'll probably go down into the minecart tunnels. That's the only way we have left to go. Uh, we'll get to the White Forge probably in the next episode, I imagine. I mean, I I don't remember how... I don't even remember if I got this far. Um, I'm not remembering a whole lot. But the White Forge probably isn't too much further down. I think it was one level down further, right? Isn't... Did I... I don't know. We'll find it soon, I'm sure. But until then, I hope you all have a wonderful day. And I'll catch you later.